I think we really focused just on playing consistent and having our energy be consistent. Yesterday we had a lot of ups and downs, like super high highs and then super low lows. And today, like we celebrated success and then we got focused on the next play, the next ball. We really stayed focused on being in the play that we were in instead of focusing on the last play or the next ball that we were getting served. Mm -hmm. So this year, there's a lot of new players on the team. Um, a lot of new chemistry. What, uh, what have you guys been doing to uh, build that team chemistry going into these games? Um, there are a lot of new faces, and I'm excited to see what these new players do. Um, they're super good. They have, you know, a lot of, they bring a lot of talent to the team. Um, to build chemistry, to build that cohesiveness that you look for in a team, I think it just starts in practice, just, you know, building it up in practice and then just focusing on keeping that going into games. And then finally, you know, now that you got that first win out from under you, do you feel like maybe there's a little bit less on you guys, or do you feel like that there's even more pressure now that you got that first win? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that we look at it like that. Um, I think we look at more look at it more like we know that we're capable of doing that. We we know that we're capable of consistently playing at that high level for three sets in a row, and I think that we just need to remember that going into each new game. Um, so yeah. Uh, like I said last night, our goal was to be a lot more even keel and not have these roller coaster rides. And uh, that was our goal and our game plan going into this match was to see if we can sustain um, confidence and sustain level energy the whole way through. So I thought that was a big deal. And um, we also were able to have a little bit more information on uh, Montana and what they do in specific rotations. So our game plan was a little bit more specific and not as chaotic as last night. So. So this season does present an interesting challenge where you're going to see a lot of these teams back to back. Um, so going into that, I know you sort of just answered that question, but um, is that going to influence maybe your plan going into these next games? Um, I think it's going to help us um, to identify where we can be better and what we need to focus on. So. Uh, in the past, we were focusing on two separate scouting reports because we were playing two different teams. This time, we can delve into just one specific team and then make our updates from there. I think the key is finding a way to make sure your team can bounce back uh, in certain situations. So for us, a bounce back from a five-set loss was good. And then um, if we were to win in five, we still have to be able to bounce back on a five-set win. And so I think that's going to be a key. Um, so tonight... You guys only had six attack errors compared to Montana's 26. What, what did you see that was maybe influencing just how vast that, that difference is? You know, I think it goes back to our game plan. We talked about specific rotations. Um, we had shot charts on specific rotations. So I thought our middles gonna, did a good job of identifying what rotation Montana was in and just being very specific in our feedback so that our defense could just react to what they were seeing, what was happening. And, um, I thought that was a big deal, and that's one of the things we focused on as well. All right.